There are some major new developments in a years-long I-Team investigation. A North Texas hospital chain faces nine criminal charges and up to $3.3 million in fines for what prosecutors say happened behind closed doors. I-Team reporter Ginger Allen has been digging into complaints about these hospitals for five years now. Ginger, what's the latest? Well, as you know, Doug, since 2013, patients and their loved ones have reached out to us complaining about abuse, neglect, threats with needles, and more. But the one complaint we have heard the most is from those loved ones who say patients are being held against their will. And that is the focus of this, today's criminal indictment. This place... If you're not crazy, it'll make you go crazy. Suffering from deep depression, this Dallas man says an ambulance took him to Sundance Behavioral Hospital in Garland on Saturday to get help. But within hours, Daryl LeBlanc says he just wanted to get out. Went on to say that I couldn't leave. He said he had to wait until Monday to sign paperwork to be released against medical advice. I did that, and they still held me for another 24 hours. It's the same story the I-Team has heard from other former patients. Our undercover cameras have caught parents fighting to get their children out with lawyers by their sides. I'll never let it happen again, Maddie, I promise. Never. Now, Tarrant County is taking action. Sundance Behavioral Health Care System is charged with holding patients involuntarily and illegally at the Arlington facility against their will without obtaining a court order of protective custody. But the court documents filed today also cite other problems at the Arlington facility. Reports of patients escaping, assaults, and a rape inside, illegally injected chemical restraints, and most recently, a suicide the I-Team reported in September. In our ongoing investigations, Sundance patients have made similar claims. Former employees have shown us pictures, they say, of patients' rooms, damage, and employees sleeping on the job. And children have told us about threats with needles and sedatives known as booty juice. Booty juice. We called it the booty juice. We got threatened with it if, like, we stood up for one another. These complaints and more are also found in inspection reports the I-Team just obtained from the state. We showed them to Fort Worth Representative Stephanie Click, who's had concerns about the facility for years. You look at all these reports here, it's abusive. And we should be protecting these folks. Tarrant County District Attorney Sharon Wilson says these offenses were a corporate failure and the corporation must be held accountable. Attorneys for Sundance tell us these regulatory complaints have been transformed into a criminal case which will be vigorously challenged and any perceived violation will be aggressively defended. Sundance is a longtime accredited mental health facility. The State Department of Health and Human Services regulates mental health hospitals. It would not comment on the indictment when we reached out today, but a spokesperson did tell us the state also has an ongoing investigation. You know, in a general sense, it's one thing if uh, legally you can go after like a doctor or a nurse right. or something like that, but here you're talking about literally a hospital chain. How, how do they go about going after a chain? We had to look into that today. The owners will actually go before a judge for their first court appearance in mid-December. A judge will set the court schedule and then the criminal process will just begin, Doug. And what this means is if this corporation is convicted, it could face a more than $3 million fine and it would actually become a convicted felon. And, and it is the corporation and by default the owners. Exactly. Yeah, okay. All right, Ginger, good explanation. Thank you. The I-Team staying on top of things for you. The CBS 11 I-Team working for you. If you've got a tip or a question about anything, it is best to reach Ginger and the team by email. That's the quickest way. I-Team at KTVT.com.